One half of the potential El Clasico final is there already. Barcelona in the Champions League final will meet either Juventus or Real Madrid, not counting out uh, the Italians. They could definitely meet Barcelona in the final. But talking about today's game, uh, Bayern Munich versus Barcelona in Munich, it was a dream start. For the Germans, Benashia got them on the score sheet. Uh, and just there was that, that wondering where you thought that that impeccable Bayern Munich comeback could happen again. But you're not playing against the Porto here. You're playing against Barcelona, who are deadly on the counter-attack. Uh, who have got three strikers who would walk into any team, any team in Europe, and start undoubtedly and probably be the top goal scorer of that team. That's how good those three strikers are. Because Neymar, if Messi's not on the score sheet or Suarez isn't on the score sheet, then Neymar's going to fill in. And he is in a hot runner form at the moment. So he managed to equalise it. And I'm going to talk about the second goal. Because this is what cost Bayern Munich when you look at the whole, uh, when you look at the tie from the outside perspective of, uh, of both legs. It's the defending ability from Jerome Boateng and Benatia. They're good individual defenders. And I tried to defend Boateng a little bit um, after Messi left him on his arse and everyone was talking about how he was the brunt of the memes, he was, he was bad at defending. He's not a bad defender. But you cannot allow someone like Neymar or Suarez that amount of room in the box. They're far too split is centre-backs. You need to be so tight together when you're playing against this dynamic front three because they will cut you open like a hot knife through butter. They are just, well, they were so easily drawn apart, they, for, especially for the second goal. Suarez breaks in behind, he just dinks the ball over the top and Boateng's having to cover up because Benasha is caught too high up of the line. He steps out to try and win the ball, leaves Suarez to wander in behind with no one really on him, easily picks out the pass and Neymar, after that goal went in, 2-1, Going into halftime, I'm thinking, okay, the game is over now because even if Bayern Munich make a good run of it, which they did, let's be honest, they left with their, head held high, their heads held high. They had a good run of it. Um, they gave a good account of themselves. But the game was lost in that defensive lapse and concentration between Boateng and Benatia. The first game was lost. It, the game was won already in the new camp. And it was lost by defensive concentration again. You get Bernat, who over compensates when he gets the ball. He tries to make up for uh, he tries to allow his speed to make up all the loose ground that he gives away with his heavy touch. Dani Alves picks his pocket, gives it into Messi and the game is over because when you allow Barcelona to have a three goal advantage, no matter if you are good at home, you're never going to win that leg. So there was a glimmer of hope. I did send out a couple of fun tweets saying, do we dare when Bayern Munich started to come back into the game? I honestly deep down knew that it was never going to happen because Barcelona... Luis Enrique will be unhappy about how they allowed this tie to slip because he wants to win every game. He wants his team to come out comfortably. And in the end, they were comfortable. 3-2 to Bayern Munich does give Bayern Munich that, that sense of pride that they lost in the first game, but it was never in doubt. But we'll talk about Bayern Munich in the second half. They did what they should have done a lot more in the first half, and that was pressed high. They forced Terst again to make errors. They forced Mascherano to try and play it over the top, not to knock it around at the back and use, utilize those little triangles. They, fought, they made it a little bit harder for them. And that is when they started to pick their pocket and start those counter-attacks. And both goals were almost identical. I tweeted out, it was like the finesse shot, R1 circle, just bending it into the bottom corner. Lewandowski and Müller they had the exact same goal. And there was numerous chances, don't get me wrong, specifically in the first half, that Bayern Munich could have made a good run at it if they took their chances. Müller had an easy chance inside the box. Keeper, it just, he puts it by the post. They go up the other side, they go up the other end of the field and Neymar makes no doubt of it, just puts it in the bottom corner. That is the difference. Uh, poor mistakes at the back in clinical finishing. That is why Barcelona are in the final and that is why Bayern Munich are not. And yes, you may make the argument that if they had Frank Ribéry and Arjen Robin and Martinez was maybe fit, that they could have possibly made, made a better run of it and into the final. But I just don't think that anyone, and I still don't think that anyone, are going to beat this Barcelona team this year. They're far too good uh, when they're on their game and they're closing down and they're, like, they're hunting like a pack of wolves and force you to make mistakes, they're the best team in the world. And uh, with those three clicking up top, I just can't see anyone beating them. I, I would love, as a neutral fan of the game, to see Real Madrid face them in the final because everyone wants to see an El Clasico final when you've got Ronaldo, arguably, in his prime, with Messi, undoubtedly, in his prime, coming head-to-head -head in a Champions League final. You cannot ask or anything better than that as a neutral football fan. So, uh, But that's not counting out Juve. They definitely could put up a good fight against Barcelona if they played them, but I just think Barcelona are going to win it after seeing them over both legs. So, uh, But overall, I think Luis Enrique won't be as happy about how his team lit up. They didn't pressure as high as they did, and maybe that was tactical. They didn't want them to waste their energy because they have got a big game coming up against Atletico Madrid this weekend. But when they're on and they're moving that ball and they're pressing teams, uh, they're, they're just far superior to anyone around them. So my money is on them to win it uh, overall, but they comfortably booked their place 
in the final despite losing 3-2 to Bayern Munich today. Um, but we want to know what you guys think. It's an interactive show. I read all your comments. I will do my best to comment back to what you say on this tie. But I want to ask you the question already. Who will Barcelona face in the final? And who will win the Champions League ultimately? I want to know that question. We're going to do a lot of clips on the Champions League final. But we want to know as early as you guys possibly can who's going to win it. Comments section below. Twitter at Francis underscore Max or at TYT Sports. Come back again, guys, for more Champions League coverage, including tomorrow. We're at the Bernabeu, Real Madrid versus Juve. I'm not actually at the Bernabeu. I wish I would be there. I'll maybe sit in front of a green screen and somewhere I don't feel like I'm there.